So for, for a morning reflection this morning, I uh, invited Ajahn Sunando to say a few words. And for people who don't know, just a brief introduction. I, I met Ajahn Sunando uh, when I first went to Thailand. I was for my third Vasa, and he had just ordained. Many of you may know Ajahn Chaganando, and they ordained together, same group. So uh, uh, one thing I wanted to mention is uh, something I haven't heard spoken about but um, something I, I like to try to use sometimes. It can be a bit helpful for me, but uh, it's, it's definitely it's what you call an aspect of Dhamma, but not, not the Dhamma. So it's something which can be practiced, but is not mandatory. Uh, it's actually a reflection on... Uh, it actually kind of depends on how you phrase it. If you, if you act, it's, it's actually Marana Nusati, which is sometimes uh, referred to as mindfulness of death which is kind of a bit difficult for people to like or to warm up to. The other reflection or the other way you could explain it is mindfulness on rec recollecting the importance of life, which is probably a bit more palatable for most people. And uh, again, there are actually many ways to practice mindfulness of the recollection of the importance of life or the importance of time. And that is that the... Um, in the suttas, the Buddha generally reflects to the, uh, the idea that life is actually quite short and uh, we don't know how long we will be in this world and we don't know um, actually even what will happen today or tomorrow so, or even in the next five minutes because the future is very uncertain. So this is actually a reflection that the Buddha gave to people to, uh, as far as I understand, it's, it's to get you to value the time that you have and to value your opportunity to practice. So uh, just, just to kind of uh, put this slightly into context, um, I'm actually going to tell you about a dream that I had. And uh, dreams generally are not stressed as being very important, but I actually had a dream a few months ago. And in this dream I was just in this kind of large open field and there were kind of all these planes crashing down and these kind of big explosions. And, and um, I could actually see this one plane was crashing down and uh, the parts were actually flying at me. So I realized in this dream that I had about five seconds to live. And so actually in this dream, which is uh, uh, interesting for me, in this kind of five seconds that I had left in the world, I, I kind of reflected on two things. Mainly the, the one thing that I reflected most upon was, uh, was how much did I practice in this life. So it, it kind of I realized like at the, at the end of my life, the most important for, thing for me in this life was how much did I practice. So this to me was, was a good reflection. And also the, the second thing actually I thought about was how much merit did I make in this life. And so it was kind of a... And so when I, when I woke up I actually had kind of a startled feeling but also kind of a, a good feeling. And then I kind of was able to reflect upon what's most important in life for me and uh, what is the best use of of life in general, or best use of time. So this, this is kind of a reflection which can also, say for example, if one reflects daily, like if this was your last day of life, what would you do with it? So this, this can be like a skillful means, which has kind of a double effect. It can both kind of direct the mind to something, uh, to that which is most important, and it can also help to cut off proliferation. Because when you, if you for example, if you were to think, if you only had one day left of life in the world, then uh, to, spend, to spend it just thinking about useless things wouldn't really make sense. And um, if you only have one day left in the world, then you don't, you don't necessarily like, want to watch TV or read the newspaper or, or go shopping or things like this. Yes. No offense, Ajahn. <laughs> <laughs> shopping is great, by the way. But, um, but, uh, but just in general, like if you only had one day, talking about frivolous shopping, <laughs> um, not, not things for the monastery, <laughs> 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 which, is, which is pure merit, and it's wonderful, <laughs> and totally praiseworthy. But um, frivolous shopping, or unnecessarily shopping, um, would, would be something that you wouldn't necessarily be so important if you only had one day left in the world. So this is a... Uh, can be a good reflection, which helps you to remember what's most important. And also, too, if, if you only had one day left in the world, you might actually 
like call your parents or talk to people who you love or at least kind of express to people who, who you love or you care about or you might also kind of clear things which are kind of are bothering you or maybe ask forgiveness from someone or say you're sorry or kind of clear things out in a way just so you actually have a clear conscience and you feel happy and uh, you tell the people who you love and appreciate you love and appreciate them and then you if the opportunity is there uh, for myself, I would probably spend, if I just had one day left in the world, I would try to spend most of my time either practicing or making merit. So this is just one of those things which can help if you reflect on it often. It can help to redirect the mind and also cut off proliferation. So I just wanted to speak, speak briefly about that for, for today's reflection. Thank you. Thank you.